Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins, and I just sat for the AZ305, which is the Azure Architect Expert. And here are my notes. So it's a lot to cover, but I'm doing this because other people are interested in it. So number one, this is an advanced level exam. Um, I had three cases, case studies at the end. I would say time management is very important here. Every section I had, so I had the general section. As soon as I finished that, I went back and I reviewed all of those. Then I had another section of where you know you can't go back. So, But the final one was the three case studies I had and I went back through all of them. So going through all of them, and time management is very key. That's something I would recommend if you're saving for this exam or any expert exam. Another thing I would also um, recommend that I had was I had 61 questions for this beta exam. Uh, I did a shorter video that I'll post in here about my proposed study, but what I would propose if you do want to sit for the AZ305 exam are these exams in this sequence. AZ900, which is Azure Fundamentals, DP900, which is Azure Data Fundamentals for the Pipelines, SC900, which would give you the basics of Microsoft Security, AZ104, which is Azure Administrator Associate, which is a requirement um, if you do want to sit for the AZ305 come March 2022. Then AZ303, um, AZ500, sorry, which is Azure um, Security, AZ700, Azure Network Associate, and I'll discuss that more in this video, and then AZ305. What I would also recommend is that you know Blueprints versus Azure Resource Manager, the four different load balancers. That's why I say AZ700 was important. So load balancer, traffic manager, app gateway, and front door. That's covered in AZ700. Logic app versus functions, vCore versus DTU, as well as Azure Identity versus Privilege Identity Management. So that's something that I, I would recommend that you know for the AZ500. I did uh, use the Wiz Labs. I used something off of Udemy and test prep training, specifically AZ305. They did help, but I did have to lean on my AZ700 Azure networking knowledge. Uh, that's why I talked about the four load balancers and I put the AZ700 before AZ305. It was the hardest Azure um, associate exam, but there's a difference between associate and expert. If you do skip the networking, it would be harder. Regarding the test material, if you need to brush up on AZ700, I would recommend the test prep training why because it has like shorter modules so it has to test and then it has shorter modules and that's something that i do like when i'm dedicating time towards testing and i don't feel like doing a whole you know 55 or 60 word test you could do like the smaller ones would be like 10 or 25 of those they also give you the answers uh i also relied on my intending the SC300, which is the IM Administrator Microsoft Certification Week for Practitioners, because it did cover and go over Azure Identity Protection versus Privilege Identity Management, and it also talked about entitlement management and guest users and external identities. Uh, and then I thought that I did well as soon as I calmed down and I started clicking the review button, which is one of my strategies. If you feel that, you know, because I said time management is very important, just click the review button. You get to go back um, at the end and review it. Uh, I normally do a review at the end. I only had 13 minutes, but as I mentioned earlier in this video, I was very happy that I clicked on like the review and did my review for that general section as well as the case studies. So all of my answers were my answers. So that's all for right now for Azure Architect Expert. It is an advanced level cert. So it lived up to that. I'll let everybody know how it goes. I do feel 
that I did better once I calmed down. But those were all of the resources that I have. I'll also put a link to my blog post of the exam prep resources that I use for AZ305. And if you are uh, in need of Solution Architect in Azure AWS, because I'm certified Solutions Architect Associate in that too, as well as Oracle Cloud, Multi-Cloud or Cloud Native, get in touch with me at carlarjenkins.com forward slash contact.